Good morning, YouTube! A couple of pranksters, Nikki and John, and then little Iris came along. With a mini zoo of adorable bats, you bet you get the best of Nikki and John's life. I'm just getting going here. I just got done having breakfast. I made some coffee and right now I'm putting together my fishing plan for the day. It's about 67 degrees outside. It's not really gonna get any warmer. Uh, the good news is, is it's sunny and it's not very windy. So I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all my stuff ready to go. I'm gonna head out and hit the lake and do a little fishing. And then tonight I have a golf tournament that I'll be participating in with my friends and I'm really looking forward to that. All right, I've got everything loaded up. The boat's hooked up, we're ready to go. We're gonna go hit the water. He never hit the brakes when he was shifting gears. Today I'll be headed up into the woods about, mm, I don't know, 40 minutes from my cabin, I would say, to Mineral Lake, which has a lot of musky, a lot of walleye, a lot of largemouth bass. It's a cool little lake. I fished it once or twice a long time ago with my dad uh, and my step-grandpa, who's uh, just a very knowledgeable fisherman, but he loves this lake. So I'm gonna head up here today, try to catch some muskies, uh, maybe some walleye. The thing I listen to in the truck when I'm at the cabin is Garth Brooks. I love me some Garth Brooks. One of the things I do when I come to a new boat landing that I'm not really familiar with is I will park my truck in the boat and I'll come out here and I'll just look at the landing, you know, walk out on the dock, have a look around, just check out what everything looks like before I put my boat in here because I've never done it before. And then I'll go ahead, I'll pull around, I'll read all the lake rules, and then I'll put the boat in, park the truck, and we'll start fishing. And if I was super familiar with this landing, I used it all the time, it's something I did, you know, like once a week, then I'd just go ahead, I'd put in because I know what I'd be dealing with, you know, on a regular basis. But since I'm new to it, I'm gonna park the truck, get the boat ready, and we'll go ahead and put in. I've got the batteries, I've got my trolling motors, I've got my minnows, my cooler, my tackle boxes. And part of the reason I brought a cooler is because I'll be out here for, I don't know, four to eight hours depending on how the fishing is and what I catch. So I've got some Pepsi, some candy bars in there, stuff like that. I've also got a bag of ice in there, not only to keep everything cool, but if I catch a fish I want to keep, I want to bring it home, make some dinner, I'll need the ice to keep it cold on the way home. And I ran into some problems with the rods I was using yesterday. I cooked two fish, lost them both. One was really big and it was kind of unfortunate. So I went ahead and retied all my lines. I got a couple different rods today. I'm using some uh, newer stuff that's really dependable and I know it's not gonna fail on me if I hook into a big fish like I did yesterday. Just gotta park the truck and we'll be ready to go. I have everything I need, including my camera. Trailer and truck are parked. Outhouse if you need it. Let's head down to the boat. I'll uh, get out here, I'll film a little bit of me fishing. Hopefully we'll catch a couple fish. I got my life jacket on, I'm ready to go. I just loaded up the boat. All my rods are set up and ready to go. I got my music Bluetooth speaker over there, tackle boxes, camera gear. I've got everything. My batteries are charged, I'm ready to start fishing. It takes me about 20 minutes of actually being on the water to be ready to fish, because I need to set up all my fishing gear, all my camera gear, make sure it's all working, the batteries are charged, the knots are tied, and uh, I'm really excited to start fishing. So hopefully we get a nice fish in the boat today. I'm gonna start fishing right from the boat ramp, which is right there. My first fish of the day was a smallmouth bass. 16 inches, it was right up close to shore there. I was fishing a top water popper, um, but that was kind of exciting. I wasn't expecting to catch smallmouth today. So I'm gonna switch over to a popper for a little bit here and try to show you guys the next one on camera. I got it on my fishing video for sure. And uh, it was just an epic catch, but wow, that was a lot of fun. It's got another smallmouth bass on the top water popper. Just a nice, nice little looking fish. Probably about 13 inches. Go ahead and let him go so he can uh, swim to be caught another day. But uh, we're hammering the smallmouth here. I'm gonna tie on a crayfish, imitation crayfish lure. Smallmouth love those, and uh, I don't know, hopefully we'll catch some more fish today because this is just a nice day on the lake. Oh man, so I just caught an 18 and a half inch smallmouth bass. Just a nice, nice fish here. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. I caught him on a popper too, which is really exciting. He's gonna swim off. But the fish have been crushing the poppers today. He was going nuts, he was eating something under a bush. And I cast that right up in there. He went for it. I pulled it out of his mouth, threw it right back, caught him again. It was just a great, great catch for John's fishing channel. So check that out. But wow. Uh, I'm going to pop a fish right here. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hope I didn't scare him out of there. He's pretty active. There he is. Bam. Got him. This is a nice fish, whatever it is. Whoo. Yes. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Holy mackerel. That's a huge smallmouth. Yay, 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 yay. 
This is why we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Holy mackerel. That's a big one. See how many inches this bad boy is. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's an 18 and a half inch smallmouth bass. Wow. Wow. Oh man, so I just caught an 18 and a half inch smallmouth bass. Just a nice, nice fish here. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. I caught him on a popper too, which is really exciting. He's gonna swim off. But the fish have been crushing the poppers today. He was going nuts. He was eating something under a bush and I cast that right up in there. He went for it. I pulled it out of his mouth, threw it right back, caught him again. It was just a great, great episode. It was just a great, great catch for John's Fishing Channel, so check that out, but wow. Uh, I've got about 45 more minutes left of fishing shoreline like this, and then I'm gonna wrap it up, I'm gonna head back, get ready for my golf game, but wow, what a fish. Whew, 18 and a half inch smallmouth bass. Mm. Uh, I've got about 45 more minutes left of fishing shoreline like this, and then I'm gonna wrap it up, I'm gonna head back, get ready for my golf game, but wow, what a fish. Whew, 18 and a half inch smallmouth bass. Mm. Well, I spent as much time as I could on the water. I just took the boat out, I'm loaded up, and I'm headed out. I'm gonna go play in a golf tournament with my buddies. Should be pretty fun. But now I gotta drive back to my cabin, unload all my stuff, get my golf clothes on, and then, and then head to the course. I had a great day of fishing. I'm actually sitting down here and editing a vlog together right now, um, but I need to make an ending for it. But man, just having a great time fishing up here in the North Woods by myself. My brother-in-law and my sister are headed up, but I really miss Nikki and Iris too. I think about them a lot when I'm actually fishing, which I think is kind of cute. But I talked to Nikki today. She's doing great. I call her like twice a day and we always text each other. But I'm going to be up here for a couple more days to make more fishing videos and the weather's going to be really nice. So I'm looking forward to that. But thanks for watching this vlog. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Tell your friends about about us, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.